Hydroforming is a process of using a bladder press. You need less tooling. It's really good for thin out, complex geometries. We do low runs, one-offs, production. Hello, my name is Dave Wicke. I'm the president of California Hydroforming. We do deep jaw forming as our specialty. A lot of times people come in and say, do you use water? No, we don't use water. A bladder press consists of a chamber that has a bladder. It's a urethane bladder. And in this bladder, there's hydraulic fluid. That hydraulic fluid is used as a medium to generate pressure while we're doing our forming process. It allows the material to flow over that surface, creating the part we want. And that bladder becomes the female portion of our draw process, and by doing that, eliminates the need for extra tooling to fabricate a part. Symmetrical parts are great. Anybody can do that a lot of times with mechanical, but it's odd geometries that have the advantage with us. This is hydroformed in two pieces. Our customer gave us this part. They're both out of 125 thousandths and 155 stainless. And so we just form up the part, and then they do the brazing and riveting of the fins and everything inside. There are times when the customer does not want a spun part. Spinning might not give them certain characteristics they're looking for. This is a, a better method for us to do it cost-wise, For again, for the tooling aspect. One of the other things nice about the hydroforming is it's good for maintaining thickness. Um, this part, for example, right here, this is made out of 23 thousandths Inco 625. And we can't go below 16 thousandths in minimum thickness. So, but you can't do this in one form. It's just too difficult, so you have to stage it. Everything has to keep the tolerance, and these are the areas that would be more prone to having thin out because of the nature of the geometry of the part. It's the aerospace, it's an uh, engine bearing cover. So anyways, yeah, this is for a turbo exhaust system. It was made in two pieces, and then it's been welded together. It's out of stainless, too, as well. These here, they go into APU units and they're stainless steel 300 series, different configurations. We have like a hula hoop, we have a flat surface. It starts out as a, as a can, and then we do trimming, and then we put in a bulge die, and the bulge die gives you the final shape on this. And there are tight tolerances, there's about 2,000 on diameters on these that we have to maintain. This part here was originally designed as a two-piece part with a weld along the, the ridge here. Then they have to clean it up, dress it up, and then penetrant inspect it to make sure the weld joints are good. Another supplier out there decided to try to do stretch forming on the part. But the problem they had, because this edge is only about a quarter of an inch or less, it's a sheer edge for them. And so they were losing 50% of their product during the process. So they came to us and said, can we hydroform it? Now when we run these, we get basically 100%. We don't have any scrap in the forming process. Hydroforming, check it out, come see us, give me a call. My name's Dave.